So, very, very happy to be here with you this morning. Uh, the themes I've been hearing throughout this show have been pretty consistent. Data is changing how we think about everything in business. Hybrid, multi-cloud, open cloud, hyperscale. So these are all themes that are very consistent with our passion, our vision at Google as well. Uh, yesterday, we announced a new partnership with Commvault, uh, one that's all about helping customers move, manage, and protect data regardless of where it is. And I think the reality that we continue to hear from you guys, our customers, is that data will span all these environments for some time to come. So help us through one solution, manage that and protect it regardless of where it's going to be. So that's one of the things we're really excited about with this partnership, and I'll tell you more about that. But when I was preparing for this, I was thinking, how do I tell you guys more about what Google Cloud's doing and make that relevant for you? And it dawned on me that when I started at Google 10 years ago, we were pretty much known as a search company. Uh, we were not in a browser market, so Google Chrome did not exist. Uh, we did not have a cloud yet in the form that you're familiar with it. And we had no mobile operating system. And so I sort of feel like, wow, that 10 years, we did a lot. A lot changed. And much like we've entered a number of these different businesses, we're really entering cloud with that same passion. I'm going to tell you more about that today. So before I do, though, you know, in this theme of how you do remarkable things with data, I thought I'd give you a real-world example. So many of us are familiar with Airbus. Uh, many of us might have flown to this conference on Airbus aircraft. They also have a space um, and defense division. And one of, those, one of the departments in that division is all about uh, Earth observation. So they've got a fleet of satellites that orbit the Earth and through radar and high-resolution satellite imagery produce images that are used in both military and commercial applications. And this is what they do. Their work product is imagery of the Earth. Now, for decades, because that's their work product, they've been trying to figure out how do we perfect that image? How do we perfect that imagery and remove imperfections, remove clouds? And they've taken many different approaches over the years of iterating software to perfect that imagery. So over two decades, they've been working on this. But it still presents incredible challenges, clouds being one of the biggest ones. How do you get clouds out of these images so that they're, they're, they're perfect? Well, over the course of a couple months, a single engineer from Airbus worked with Google Cloud Machine Learning to, to build a software application to do that in a fundamentally different way. And in just six months, that single engineer revolutionized what they've been doing for two decades using machine learning, data, and analytics to systematically remove, and perfect, remove clouds and perfect images and dropped their error rate from you know, double digits down to around four or less percent. So it's a really cool story of how you can apply things that seem abstract like machine learning to real world business and create great outcomes from it. Now, when most of you think of Google, is this what comes to mind? When, the, when, you're, when you're like, hey, I'm not sure if the Wi-Fi is working, I usually go here to see, does this work? It's sort of this dial tone. Um, and what's great about this, right, is that most of us love the simplicity, right? The fact that it's simple, it's not cluttered, you type something in, you get a response. You often will start to get your question completed as you type it, which can be sort of scary. Um, but this is the experience most people think of when they think of Google, or when they think of, you know, Google and, and how they interface with it. But I think about this. So I think about this infrastructure that sits behind it. And so when you think about when did Google get into the cloud business, I would argue that was back in 1998 when this all started in a garage and we started to build out this incredible infrastructure to serve that dial tone internet experience. And so there's a lot that goes into this, right? Today, Google has around eight services which each have a billion or more users. S software as a service, large hyperscale applications. And so as we started building that decades ago, the infrastructure that sits behind that search pane or behind YouTube or behind Gmail uh, it's really difficult to buy off the shelf. We had to really fundamentally redesign how we think about uh, you know, data centers and you know, Linux OS stacks and database and all these things, network and storage, to serve these applications at this scale. And that same infrastructure that we've built out to ensure that you get that sub-second you know, great Google search experience is the same infrastructure that powers our cloud and that we've effectively opened up for customers to participate in that and leverage those economies of scale and that, that hyperscale um, infrastructure for your own use. 
In addition to that, one of the reasons people choose Google Cloud is just like we built out that infrastructure, we've had to build out the world's fastest and most secure network. Uh, network diagrams are fun to look at, but the reality is it's sort of hard to get your head around how big this network is. You know, Google's put undersea network cables and, um, you know, made tremendous investments to ensure that, you know, just like that search experience is incredible, our cloud and our customers' experiences as well. By some estimates, this network carries 30% of the world's total user-facing inter traf internet traffic at any given time. So it's a big deal. But all that stuff's sort of this really big infrastructure network. It can be difficult to get your head around. So I thought what I would do is share, at the core of our partnership with Commvault, something a bit more tangible that you can get your hands around that, you know, or your head around that, that manifests itself. So storage. So in, store, in our cloud suite of technologies, Google Cloud Storage is one of the really core um, parts of that. It's object storage. We offer it in four different classes, ranging from near line to cold line to regional to multi-regional. And Commvault integrates with all four classes today. What's really cool about Google Cloud Storage and what makes it stand out is the performance and the cost and the fact that it's really simple. And unlike most clouds, in our cold line archival tier, you get immediate access to it whenever you need it. Additionally, we've built this really robust data and analytics platform that spans storage, analytics, and machine learning. And as soon as you start leveraging Google Cloud Storage, you get access to all those technologies. So you know, suddenly, your secondary storage is more powerful than your primary. It's a really cool concept. Now, we're excited to partner with Commvault. And we think about that sort of in three different ways. So one is, how do we enable incredible customer outcomes? Now, it starts with some you know, very core fundamentals. So today, uh, you can back up Google Cloud Storage cold line. So if you use Commvault, you can now use cold line in addition to regional and near line classes as your storage target. Using Commvault, you can protect robust workloads in the cloud. And additionally, you can back up G Suite data with Commvault. So we've really made this investment to span a number of the different technologies you, our customers, use and who also use Commvault to take advantage of the partnership. Now, we're not just going to support this with technology. We're building out reference architectures, and we're also investing in common channel partners that can make this real for you in your day-to-day in your -day business. So one example of that would be Forsyth. So Forsyth is a common partner of both Commvault and Google's, and they're doing some really cool things in this space with us. So one, they're building a data analytics as a service platform, leveraging Commvault and Google Cloud. And the idea is to take, is to back up data to Google Cloud um, and then do incredible analytics on that platform. They're leveraging Google's machine learning APIs, uh, DLP, and Cloud Vision to provide businesses with incredible insights into their data and to actually use machine learning to, to take that data and make it more actionable. Furthermore, using this Forsyth solution and some of their services on top of it, they can do incredible things to secure and protect as well, whether that's personally identifiable data, such as uh, social security numbers or, or others, you know, the things that people are storing that they shouldn't be storing. Half the challenge is not just protecting it, but having insights into where that data is and how you need to protect it. So we're really excited about that, and that's a good example. And I think just to kind of wrap up a little bit, we're really, what we hear from you guys is that it's not just about cloud. You know, I think what um, Al said that was funny is, duh, you know, cloud is sort of on everyone's lips. But it's really about how do we support multi-cloud? And Google's made a number of investments that recognize that. Um, we invested in Apigee, which is an API management platform that supports every single one of the major clouds as well as on-premise. We've also invested in a company called Orbitera, which enables companies like you guys to do test drives and deployments across all the major clouds, including Google. And we really are trying to also invest in key partnerships like Commvault to help you manage and protect data, whether it's on-premise or in any of those clouds, and also protecting and moving between clouds. So we're super excited about this. And you know, as a company that, that is very, very data-driven, uh, we also believe in doing remarkable things with data. And I think this is just the beginning, right? So the conversations we've been having with Commvault are, in addition to what we're doing today, how do we bring together the rapid innovations Google's driving around machine learning, artificial intelligence, advanced analytics, and pair that with Commvault's technologies, customers, and capabilities to continue to do really incredible things together? 
So come see us at our booth. We've got a booth out there on the exhibition floor. We'd love to tell you more about how we integrate with Commvault, about Google Cloud, about Google Cloud Storage, and uh, look forward to seeing you through the rest of the show. Thank you very much.